Hello guys, it's me again, Popoy. So now we're back. We're gonna do a unboxing video of Devil May Cry 4 Dante. This is a 1-6 scale figure under Asmos Toys. Now we're gonna look around this pack. As you can see, they are licensed by Capcom. So now we're going to do unbox it. Here we are, this is what comes inside the box. We got some extra joints, extra action hands, and uh, two guns, the ebony and ivory, and the Ebo uh, rebellion sword. You can see the details on the sword. Okay. I'm gonna look at the guns. This is ivory. See the details there. Okay, now ebony. Okay, we got some action hands. I believe this is the trigger hands for the gun. some close fist and a hand that can hold the sword in place yes so we have both left and right close dead fist and left and right hand for the sword now we're gonna look at the figure itself Okay, here is Dante. So the clothes is mainly more of a fabric type. Same goes to the feet, more rubbery. And I think the whole clothes is more on fabric type. Yeah, so the joints can bend. Same goes to the knees. Okay, so we're gonna look at this head sculpture as you can see it's really detailed more of a game accurate then head can twist left and right up and down let's look more closely to the face yes and the hair is more on a rubbery type. I think you can remove the hair by heating it up and placing it in a different direction. So the hands are interchangeable. Let's try. Oh, yes, it's like that. Let's try changing the hands into the trigger hands. Now we can hold the gun. Let's try it. There you go. Now he's able to hold the gun. Again. Yeah, I really like 
like this figure because it really it really captures the looks of Dante. Okay, it also comes with a regular stand. Here is the stand. gonna do some different poses for Dante okay guys we're back now I have posed Dante in this shooting position so he is very posable kind of figure and he can stand on its own without using the stand actually I just use the base so that it's kind of more cool pose okay now he's using the ebony and ivory gun and as you can key, uh, as you can see about the cape, you can pose it also whenever you like. Okay, now for the rebellion sword, it is a magnet gimmick that you can attach the rebellion sword there on its back. really really detailed figure here so we're going to try another position again okay now we have tried to use the sword One thing I have noticed while posing this figure, just be careful while you're doing at it because the the cloth is a, and the fabric is a bit fragile. So be careful posing it, guys, just to avoid any breakage on the cloth itself. So that's all about it. Stay tuned, and I'm gonna do another review soon. So thank you again, guys, for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.